Hi guys, it's chocolate bar time and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect chocolate bar with some of my favorite ingredients. And the first thing you need is your chocolate, it's tempered and if you follow this link here, I'll show you how to temper it to perfection. So once you've got your tempered chocolate, pop it aside and you need some equipment. You need a chocolate mold. This is a fancy chocolate mold. This is a professional chocolate mold. Not expensive, but available online. And this has got 550 gram bars in it, but you can buy loads of different varieties of these. And the first thing you need to do is make sure it's very, very clean. And the best thing to use to clean it, once you've washed it in hot soapy water, is cotton wool. Just a cotton wool pad, and you polish each indent really well. If you haven't got a mold at all, just use a small baking tray. Just line it with cling film and you can pour your chocolate in to create a big slab of chocolate. So once this is clean, place it on your worktop and you need a scraper. It's going to be really useful to get a flat surface. Other ingredients I've got, these are some of my favourites, but you can put anything in your chocolate bar. We've got some pecans, some cocoa nibs, which are really available now in lots and lots of health food stores. And they're the cocoa bean that have been dried and roasted and cracked open and they're really crunchy and really chocolatey and I've got some sea salt. Lay the mould flat, take our bowl of chocolate and we're going to pour, we're going to fill each cavity to the top. So go all the way to the top, move to the next one, move to the next one. You're going to need to have tempered about 400 grams of chocolate for this. You won't use it all, just let that set and use it again later, but you need about 400 grams. So shake the mould, this will level out the chocolate. And then we need to tap it, so the noisy bit, but it's going to get all the air bubbles out of the mould. <coughs> Told you it was noisy. <coughs> and all these little air bubbles will appear. They're the air bubbles from the bottom of the mould rising to the surface, and it means you'll get a nice finish on your chocolate bar. Now, holding it really sturdy and flat, take your scraper and very slowly just scrape across the top. You can use a palette knife for this as well if you don't have a scraper. Turn it round. Scrape the excess off. This is making sure that every bar is exactly the same weight and looks beautiful. Give it another little tap. And then we can put our ingredients in. So, you have to do this quite quickly because if you do it slowly, by the time you get to your fifth bar, the chocolate will have set. So we're going to be a little bit artistic, a bit uniform, a bit random. And as soon as you've put them on, give it another tap so they sink into the chocolate a little bit. <coughs> tap it. Some cocoa nibs. I like a lot of texture, so I'm doing three things, salt, nibs, and pecans. Sprinkle that on. And then some sea salt. Sea salt and chocolate is huge. This is one of the biggest trends in chocolate in the past 10 years, a little bit, not too much, with your chocolate will intensify the chocolate flavour. Tap again, and then that goes into the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes only, and no longer. If it stays in the fridge longer, they'll get too cold, and you'll get something called a sugar bloom on the top, where the chocolate gets wet, and then the sugar dissolves and it gets all sticky. So in the fridge, 15 to 20 minutes. And my fridge does sing the theme tune to Live and Let Die, listen. Da -da -da, na -na. So that goes in. 15 minutes and they should be set and on the bottom you'll probably be able to see if you can see in the camera there that there's some dark areas and some light areas the lighter areas where the chocolate shrunk away i'm just going to give it a little twist to release them and then you need a clean tea towel i'm going to tip the mold upside down so the bars drop out always put something soft down for them to land on otherwise they will smash so take the mold tip it upside down might need a little tap. Let's tap that again. And out come your bars of chocolate. They've come out beautifully. They're nice and shiny and set. You just need to keep them somewhere cool and dark or wrap them in greaseproof paper, wrap them in cellophane if you're giving them as presents. But you do need to try them. Best bit of my job and your job once you've made them. Clean snap means the chocolate is tempered. It means it's shrunk away, it's smooth and we can have a little taste. It is a bit salty, but not too salty. It's nutty, crunchy, and the chocolate is really smooth. So enjoy making my bars, but get creative, use any ingredients you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you loads more recipes just like this.